With such a deep wound, Tom knows Rafa could have catastrophic internal bleeding. He needs to get him to hospital fast for emergency surgery. The danger is that moving him may put too much strain on him and send him into cardiac arrest. Ambulance service, is the patient breathing? Yes, yeah. yes, but the person's on the floor. Awake? Yes, but the yeah. person has cut the belly. Have they oh, fallen? They've put yeah, themselves in the a chainsaw. Are they able to see to me? No. no. Oh no. my God, okay. everything's Stop out. His intestines? Yes. Has he lost enough yeah. blood to fill two muscles? Yes, a lot. Please, just come. We're coming on blue lights and so we're going to be there as quickly as we can. It looks like a 43-year-old male who sustained an abdominal injury from a chainsaw and his intestines are out on the floor. An ambulance is already on scene, but the man's injuries are so severe that they've requested critical care backup. Tom has been dispatched. It's easy to paint a picture, but you really don't know until you get there. 11 minutes after receiving the call, Tom arrives at the address. His body cam records every detail of the horrific scene. Hi, you're right. <laughs> Hello, sir. My name's Tom from the Air Ambulance. What's your name? The injured man, 43-year-old forklift driver Rafa, is being given oxygen by the ambulance crew to try and keep him conscious as his body reacts to the shock of the five-inch wound to his lower abdomen. Right, so with this, um, if you just want to cover that with that, Perfect. I'm just taking a photo of it. No, that's fine. Just in case you want it. Right then. It looks like it's adipose tissue yeah. or anything, doesn't it? The blade has sliced down through skin and flesh, exposing his intestines. Oh. Tom needs to try and keep the wound clean, prevent his intestines coming out, and stop the bleeding. Hopefully, if we can just hold it around, it will stick to it a little bit. And then, if I can get you guys to put some tape around that, is that all right? I'm just going to stick the dressing down, Raphael, OK, just to keep it clean. OK, so this gentleman, um, age, I believe you already know, he's a GCS of 15 at the moment with an isolated abdominal injury with partly eviscerated bowel. With such a deep wound, Tom knows Rafa could have catastrophic internal bleeding. He needs to get him to hospital fast for emergency surgery. I think my initial plan would be to get some IV access, wound management, and then convey him to the QE. The danger is that moving him may put too much strain on him and send him into cardiac arrest. Okay, How are you Sam, feeling? Are you all right? Sam, can you get some okay, IV access? Yes. Is that right? Yeah? Yes, he will need to. All right, we're going to cut this off. It isn't safe to move Rafa until Tom knows the full extent of his injuries. I just want to check his back while we're here. Yeah. It's very sweaty, isn't it? OK, so no other injuries. Was this done on a chainsaw? Yes. Can you find out exactly what's happened? The just... gentleman there speaks English. How are you feeling? He went on a ladder. He was doing something around this thing. Yeah. And, yeah. It turns out Rafa was fixing the guttering with an electric saw. This one? Yeah. When the ladder slipped, the saw ripped through his abdomen. Yeah, 6'2", just an update. So heart rate's around 50 at the moment. Rafa's blood pressure is low, which could be a sign that the blade has damaged some large blood vessels internally or even perforated the bowel. He's quite clammy and sweaty at the moment. I see no immediate signs of him hemorrhaging. Uh, however, I don't know how deep it is. They have to get him to hospital. I'm going to get him in the back of the ambulance and convey QE. I'll put some details as we go. Then, Rafa, we're going to put our chair here. We're going to get you to move you and take you into the back of the ambulance, OK? My only concern is it's a bit hypotensive, so he might go a bit funny yeah. if we stand up. So we're trying to obviously avoid as little movement as possible. Hold on to my hand. OK. Do you feel like you can walk? No. OK, that's great. If, are you sure? OK. Despite Rafa's horrific injuries, Tom has no choice but to move him onto the ambulance. Yeah keeping the pressure on the wound to stop his intestines spilling out. I'm just a bit worried he's a bit hypotensive, so we'll just take our time. Well done. OK, so up you come. So, at the moment, this gentleman's got a circular sore accident to his stomach. 
part of his bowel and a lot of his stomach is, is out at the moment, so we've dressed it. I'm going to give him some drugs to stop him bleeding and uh, pain relief and take him to the major trauma hospital in Birmingham. I'm just going to give you some pain relief, some paracetamol, OK, to help with your pain, Rafa. How are you feeling? Yeah? They head to the major trauma centre at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, where Rafa will need immediate surgery to repair the wound and stop any internal bleeding. Rafa, are you right holding that? On the journey, Tom needs to keep his patient under close observation. There's a real danger his low blood pressure could suddenly drop, putting him into cardiac arrest. Rafa, how are you feeling? All right? Good. Well done. You're doing a great job. We're nearly there. Arriving at hospital 23 minutes later, Tom can hand over his critically injured but now stable patient to the waiting specialists. Thank you. Thank you.